that from the stress of having to save Smosh when DeFi shut down? Probably, yeah. It was around that time. I was really struggling with feeling like I really had to prove myself. <laughs> oh my God. Why do people think that we're secretly Man, these assumptions could really fuck somebody up. I would get so frustrated. I was like, stop comparing us. Tara Lynn Cantor says that you occasionally get insecure that your friendship isn't like it was 10 years ago. I think I had that insecurity towards the end of our last friendship. Mm. Like, I, I think I thought about that a lot towards like when like towards the end of like when you were at, at smosh the first time mm, where, like 2017 like, yeah yeah like uh because at that point like we weren't hanging out that much and when we would hang out it would be like it would it would feel like off mm -hmm. um and then so i was always like thinking like oh gosh like what is it like why is this like why does this feel weird or whatever but like i think that like now we've just like We've like accepted like who we are as like different people. And so we can like appreciate like our differences. Yeah, I think that's a big part of it. I feel like in our earliest days of being friends, we accepted our differences and we were just two people vibing who had our own lives and own ways of being. But I feel like as we continue to do this smosh thing, it felt like we were supposed to be more perfectly in line. Mm -hmm. That coupled with comments comparing us and then also me feeling like I needed to be funnier and because the comments was like Ian's the funny one and I was like F I'm not contributing enough to this and I think that there was a lot of comparison that was going on back in those days but reconnecting obviously there's a there's a period of time of I, I would say it was a little bit weird because we were still learning to to reconnect even after we announced that we bought Smosh back. There was still a little bit of that that still just naturally had to happen as we got in the rhythm of working together and being around each other so much. Yeah. Uh, but now at this point, it feels like we're friends as we always have been. It almost feels like we didn't have that period of time where we weren't. And yeah. now, now I'm super thankful that we even had that period of time apart because we both were able to grow separately. Anthony is finding it harder to adapt to being back at Smosh than he expected. That is a good one because there are, it's both true and not true. It's like, mm -hmm. it's harder in ways I didn't mm -hmm. expect, but it's easier in ways I didn't expect. Yeah. Connecting with you, writing, um, being accepted into the crew, uh, all easier than I thought, like learning how to get back onto directing and uh, giving, uh, helping with production and all that stuff. Like I wasn't expecting all that stuff to come as naturally to fall back in as easily mm -hmm. as I have, but much more difficult in other ways. Like I went through a, a, a very long period, I'd say probably like right up to the funeral roasts and the video of me getting slapped. Like right up until then, I was really struggling with feeling like I really had to prove myself, prove that I didn't just like step away for six years and come back in. It's like, it's mine now again. Right. You know what I mean? And right. uh, I, was, I was afraid that it was, I was gonna give the impression that I didn't uh, acknowledge the work that everyone had put into it. Uh, I was afraid that because I didn't have the experience of being there for that six years, that uh, maybe I might accidentally operate from thinking that Smosh was still the way it was when obviously Smosh has changed so much. Mm. And it, it was a lot of insecurities too, coming in and feeling like I needed to be as funny as all the crew, like you had, mm -hmm. everyone had been doing years and years of, of improv on the show. Like it's built into your work, doing improv and being funny. Well, that was not part of my work for so long. So I was just like so out of the rhythm that I was afraid that I wouldn't be accepted back by, by the cast and crew a little bit, but mostly by the audience as well. I was really afraid that they would see me as an outsider because I felt like an outsider. Swifty says that you secretly like the fanfics and read them constantly. I think like in the beginning when we got a lot of fanfictions, I remember like telling some of my friends about it that like weren't in the YouTube space. And like, I remember like this one time, like we were out at like a bar or something and we were a couple drinks in and I told them about it. And then we like read some because mm. it was like kind of icky. 
and it was funny. So like the milk fanfic specifically, I did not read the milk fanfic. Okay, that's too icky. We're not gonna talk about that. We can't talk about it. It's too icky. It's too icky. It's too sticky. Um, But I think like it for me, like I, I'm not bothered by it. I think like if that's how people want to artistically express themselves and creatively express themselves. I'm all for it. It took me a little bit to get there because at first it felt violating and and a little bit of an invasion of privacy when they would take our girlfriends at the time and then like kill them. And then like in our sadness, we would like get, we would like then like comfort each other and then start making out and then have sex. And it was like, okay, like but you're taking very specific details of our real lives and then like, killing people in our real lives and then yeah. that's what leads to romance and that was weird for me but after a few years then I I kind of like I kind of like became okay with it I'm like look it's just it's just creative expression you know some, some for some people like in writing like fan fiction is the gateway you know like they'll start writing fan fiction and then maybe they'll they'll progress on to other forms of twilight for example what, You're referring to Fifty Shades of Grey? Fifty Shades of Grey, that's Yeah, what it was. being that's a Twilight was. fanfic. That's yeah. what it was, yeah. yeah. I always just thought it was funny. Yeah. And it was, like, weird and, like, shocking in the same way that, like, wiki feed existing is weird and shocking. That's more violating and strange to me than fan fictions. I think wiki feed is just funny to me. So I just think fan fictions are funny. Funny. I don't know why. I mean, like, I'm not gonna, you know, a lot of people love feet. So, you know, uh, who, who am I to judge? Mogzy says that you guys kissed once just to see what it was like. We did we did kiss. Oh, we did kiss once. Um, just to see what kind of monetization we can get. Yeah, it was on YouTube. You could go look at it. Kiss Currency. Oh, I think you renamed it. Oh, oops. <laughs> uh, I think you call. oh, they kissed instead of paying. Is the new name. Oh, okay. All so right. yeah, look that video up if you want to see us kiss. Yeah. And then yeah. become a member and click the join button down below when you're there. Oh, nice. That video is going to get a big bump. I, I know Go it. watch it. Yeah. There's lots of kissing. We got an assumption that Anthony is bisexual in the <laughs> in it. And I got a bunch of likes. Sure. Oh, yeah. Interesting. Sure. Uh, I don't really care if people think that. And honestly, hey, leave it open. Who knows what I'm going to want in 5, 10, 15, 20 years. Look at that. Yeah. Okay, love that. I don't know. Ghost Parade says that you get tired of the whole funny one and cute one when both of you are both. I'm not as much anymore, but at one point that stuff, my <laughs> my ego was very fragile and my sense of self, my sense of self-worth in general was just very fragile for many, many years. So it would I would get so frustrated. I was like, stop comparing us. We're in our own lane. And then I would get caught up in it and... I would think about it, and then it would be on my mind. Now I don't really give a f- mm. I just don't care. I'm doing my own thing. You're doing your own thing. I think part of it came from uh, also me being a little bit insecure about our dynamic. Mm. And I think now that I'm totally secure with our dynamic, I don't care if we get compared so much. If someone says, you're the hot one now, or you're the funny one now, I'm like, there's... Why do I care what that one person? Right. I'm not trying to appeal to every single person on the planet. Yeah. There there are people out there that will appreciate whatever it is that I have to bring. I never felt competitive over that, but I will, like, when I think of, like, did I ever feel competitive about the two of us, it wasn't, like, through those comments, but it was just like, oh, man, he's got more followers than me. And that and that's that's where I was that's where like I felt a certain type of way because you thought followers meant yeah or I don't know it was just like oh they they you know for whatever reason people are choosing to follow him more than me post and more thirst traps you're also just like <laughs> yeah. but I also like I also like recognize like you're just simply better at doing those things and I'm just like I'm just not diligent with like building an audience doing doing really? like the. Yeah, because, like, for me, I just I just don't think I'm, like, as attuned to playing the game. That's what I think it is, is that for a long time I saw it as a game to play, and I had yeah. a lot of fun with it. I don't think it was a healthy relationship with it now that I look at it. Mm. But at a time I was like, this is part of the game. It's like, what can I post to get the engagement, to get yeah. the likes? Yeah. And I, would, and I would be like, oh, like, that's— 
that's cool that you're that you're doing that and that uh-huh. you're getting that. But I just couldn't be bothered. Yeah. But then I would still see the the follower disparity, and I'd be like, oh man. Um, but it just means that more of the game was played. But yeah, I mean, like, hey. It is but, what it is. But that's kind of where my mindset was even when we, like, with everything Smosh, too, back in the day. With that's, I think that's part of why we were able to grow the channel so fast. I was, like, I was hell-bent yeah. on playing the game. Yeah. And that's what, like, really helped us get our footing is I was, like, it's got to be this. It's got to be this. we got to do this if we want to get. And it's, like, you were able to contribute in all the ways that you excel in. And thinking of the, I mean, I feel like, in a sense, you were in charge of, Bringing the funny, bringing the content, bringing the the depth while I was in charge of, like, the more analytical, like, how could we make this game be played in the most effective way while yeah. you were bringing the things to play with. You were definitely more content-brained than than I was. Yeah. Like, in terms of, like, in terms of, like, you, you were definitely more interested in, like, how can we, like, improve I was, like, this distribution, like, marketing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and I was just, and I just, like, lay on your bed and be like, okay. Selma Elise Sortland says Anthony secretly hates Ian's mustache. No. In fact, I, I started growing a little mustache of my own. You did? Oh, my gosh. A little baby one. I used to be oh. embarrassed of my own mustache when I was younger uh. because <laughs> I would not have any facial hair except uh-huh. my mustache would grow in, and it was not cool to have a mustache between, like, 2000 to 2020, it was not cool. But now I was like, you know what? I see some people rocking them. I see Shane rocking one for a little while. I'm like, I'm gonna try it out a little bit. I didn't know that. Mm. So it's I guess like, I do. I do. I do see it. It's a little bit more. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I like shave this down a little bit lower. Mm-hmm. Have a little accent here. Mm-hmm. It helps elongate the face a little bit. It elongates the face a little bit. See, the only thing I think about, because I I'm still like not totally sold on. I'm like the only thing I think about is like. Can you still see my upper lip? Do you shave it shorter right there around I your do, lip? I do. I do. I started doing that too because yeah. whenever I'd like go like this, I would feel the oh, hairs yeah. going in my mouth, and it was not. It was not good. Yeah, it was not good. Yeah, I keep playing with it. Like if it gets to a certain length, I I play with it throughout the day, and I'm like, <laughs> I feel it, and I probably look like a weirdo because yeah. I'm just like walking around everywhere going. Yeah. Touch tips at least once. Touch tips. Touch tips. They didn't say what kind of tips. Touched. Loophole. We found it. Yo, Ian and I, we touch tips. Touch tips. Just once, though. Touch tips. Just once. Julia says that Anthony rotates his nose ring and then smells his fingers, and Ian is the type of guy to say, now a silly one, when taking photos. That is so disgusting. I can't. That is disgusting. Does uh, it smell? Does it, does like... I don't know. I've never f***ed with it because I'm a... Because... I'm afraid it's gonna like get infected. So no, <laughs> no. So you never rotate it. No, no. I, and it would only smell if it was infected. So spinning it while it's infected would be disgusting. If it had a scent, you would know it was infected. So don't touch it. I just don't f- with it. I do. I do say ironically, now a silly one. I do. I. We took a group photo the other day, and I went, now a silly one. But people did a silly one. You have to get a silly one. You have even to if, get a silly one. Even if you're being ironic, even if I was being ironic about it, I did want a silly one. So, so it's not ironic. So it's not ironic. Yeah, you really. It's want a... like post irony. Mm. Oh, it's the irony about the irony. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. It's real deep. You wouldn't get it. Queen Teen XOX says you're either being cuddly and affectionate in your shared office, or causing problems and chaos for everyone at Smosh. There's no in between. Um. I don't know how to respond. Cuddling or causing chaos. And then on the cuddling thing, we also had another assumption that Anthony is the big spoon. Oh, well, Anthony is taller than me. So I think like by by design, you have to be the big spoon. I would say, yeah, if we were hypothetically speaking if we out on, on a, a camping trip and yeah. got lost in the woods, yeah. no power, no way to make fire. Yeah. Warmth, body warmth was the only way that we're gonna stay on warm. On a plane that crashed in the Andes. Yeah, we weren't even camping on purpose, it was forced camping. Yeah. If there was a spooning situation that had to happen, bodies would probably fit together if I was in the back more. I think so, yeah. yeah. You wouldn't go front to front? Well, two, two, two big, two, big, two spoons. 
Yeah. Like just clanking together. Yeah. I guess like face to face would be weird. Maybe we just go like one this way. 96ing it? Yeah, 96ing it. Yeah. Mm. That's a platonic 69, is it 96? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think we just invented something new. Mm -hmm. Go to 96 with my bros tonight. Do you want to respond to, do y'all cause chaos and problems at the office? I cause zero chaos and problems. I'm so buttoned up. Yeah. Um, no, I, I think that we try to make things run smoothly because Smosh has had so many ups and downs and chaotic moments that I feel like right now we're in this yeah. time period where we want things to go smoothly. Yeah, I'll be I'll be chaotic when the cameras are rolling. But yeah. I think I'm a pretty normal, I don't know, maybe I shouldn't say that, but I'm a pretty normal guy. Yeah, don't say that. It's not cool to be in normal. In the day-to-day, -day, I think I'm pretty, I think yeah. I'm pretty normal. Durkin says Ian gives power bottom energy. Well, Ian is the little spoon. I don't know. I think I'm a little too passive for power bottom. I I think he's too much of a pillow. Like princess. I'm like I'm yeah yeah I'm a little I'm a, I'm a, yeah I think I'd be yeah I give a little more pillow princess yeah yeah. Just like our submissive and breedable music video portrayed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's more that's more of Ian. Yeah, I mean like okay like I I don't think pillow princess is right though. I don't think I'm a pillow princess. Where'd you learn that pillow you, princess? Do you not know that term? I know that term okay, obviously. Then. Okay. <laughs> What do you mean? Where do we learn it? It's just a word I'm that. I'm like, where did you like, learn it? I'm just like y'all are. Y'all. I've learned far too. I've learned far too many words. <laughs> and, the, and the yeah. <laughs> you don't even want to say. <laughs> I signed up for a for a certain dating app that was. Um, Grinder. Grind. <laughs> Grinder. Yo, where are all the straight people on Grinder? <laughs> no, it sounds I'm um, straight in my bio, but all these guys keep hitting me up. Yeah, I learned a lot. I like to imagine that Ian sleeps and snores like honk shoe, honk shoe, me, 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 me. Uh, I, um, <sighs> I, I don't wish. Think, I don't think I you wish. make any because I used to talk in my sleep a lot. That's I true. I used to laugh in my sleep. I remember when we were younger and we snuck into your room to mess with you, you literally said, don't take my gun in I your did. sleep. I did, yeah. Don't take my gun. I didn't have a gun. <laughs> <laughs> we had been, I think we had been playing Halo all we night. We had been playing Halo. And um, and then Anthony and other friends snuck into my room to draw a penis on my face. But you did hear me making sounds in my sleep before. Yeah, they were frightening. Yeah. Uh, Anthony uh, it was, came uh, on a Hawaii trip with my parents because my dad had... Uh, he was there for a conference, so we got to go with him. And that was right after we graduated high school. It was like, yeah, yeah. And I and I in the middle of the night, I kept like waking up and hearing this like weird creaking sound. And uh, and every time I woke Anthony up to ask if he heard that noise, the noise would stop. Um, and then we found out um, it's because you grind your teeth in your sleep. I had no idea I grinded my teeth. And it was this horrible sound. You mean the sound of bones rubbing together? Yeah, I want to do it, but uh, I'm not doing it. I can't it. even do it. I don't like. I can't even imagine. Like, it, I've heard it described to me before by other people, and it's like, yeah, yeah it's like a horror movie, <laughs> kind of like that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, not very pleasant. I hear. I don't know. I don't gotta hear it. Yeah. So you probably don't honk shoe for the same reason I I don't because like. We both wear mouth guards. Do you wear a mouth guard now? Yeah, because I clinch. Yeah, I well after that, after that, I started You grind, I clinch. I'm on grinder, you're on clincher. I'm on clincher. <laughs> but I, I got a mouth guard after that, because when I went to see my dentist, I was like, I, I asked him a question about it. And they're like, Yeah, I do see some evidence of grinding. And then I got it. Yeah. Guard. Yeah. I do see some evidence of grinder. Mm, he's he's in my mouth. Yep, this guy's been on grinder. Did you, when, how long have you, I won't go how that. long? I won't go further with that joke. How long have you been clenching? <laughs> it's like, I was like, where's this question? How long have you been, oh, clenching. Uh, you know, some say I was born clenching. Yeah? Yeah. When, when did you find out you were a clencher? I don't know, but I started waking up with like horrible headaches. Uh, and then my jaw would always be sore. Mm. Uh, and then so, yeah. Got Was that from point. the stress of having to save Smosh when Defy shut Probably, down? Probably, yeah. Yeah. Probably it was around that time. Bat ya says Anthony misses Ian's bowl cut and Ian misses Anthony's emo hair. I definitely miss his bowl cut. 
I don't miss your emo hair. I think <gasps> I think your emo hair was perfect for the time. Oh, okay. And uh, without that hair, we would have probably got like half the views that we got. That is true. So I am very thankful for your your hair. Your My hair. contribution. Yes, I think it was very important at that time. Mm -hmm. But you know, sometimes you just gotta let a good thing go. And I think you let it go at a time at a much better time and much sooner than when I let go of my bowl. When hair. did you let go? What year? Way I too think, late. Way I think too it was late. twenty. Uh, it was beginning of twenty fourteen is when I let it go. It was. I let go of mine around the time that we shot Ghostmates. So, oh, because you had the bowl cut. That was the last time we saw the bowl no, cut. No, no, no. I, 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 it was like it was like a pre. It was like, it was like. It was like there was a transitional period mm -hmm. in which I like cut my hair back, uh, I think. Oh, it was like shorter bangs. Yeah, 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 it was like shorter bangs, but it wasn't like up yet. Yeah. Um, so that was like, that was my transition out of bowl. Mm -hmm. um, so it was because, more of a loaf at that point. Uh, it's yeah, a I don't even know what it was. It was, it was like a croissant like, on your head. It was just like sad guy. Sad guy? I just mean like, it, it just didn't, it wasn't a vibe. Jordan Georgia says that 90% of your conversations are reminiscing on things you've done together. I don't know I don't about 90%. So. There's some, some. Yeah. I think a lot of friends, you know, a small chunk. Yeah. 10, 20, I don't know, 10% maybe. It's a lot about now though. Yeah. Whenever we talk about the past, it's about like, what did we learn from the past? How have we grown from the past? How can we do things different now? Yeah. But it's not like, oh, remember that time? I don't know. There's a lot of new stuff happening all the time. Like, yeah. If we just talked yeah. about the past, we wouldn't be able to do. Pretty busy. There's not yeah. like a lot of time to. Talk. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. I, I mean, like, I'd say like it's like you know you go through waves, I guess, of like. I don't know. Talking I mean, about like old YouTubers. I get. Yeah. Or, I mean, they're only you and I. Like, you're the only person I know that could relate to a lot of that old stuff. So yeah. if I do, if I am in the mood to reminisce about some weird, obscure thing, mm -hmm. you would be the person I would talk with about it. Right. Yeah. Same. But other than that, I mean, I mean, it's fun to go down nostalgia road sometimes, but yeah, we're not always there. No. Rachel Owen says that your near identical laugh stem from that first bonding session, sixth grade science class. I think sometimes we'll laugh similarly, but I don't think yeah. our like signature. Like sometimes laughs. we'll have like. <laughs> <laughs> I think we'll sometimes do like that kind of laugh, but you yeah, yeah we have that's different like a passive. That's like a understated. Like that's kind of funny. Yeah, but the, that's super funny laugh. We both have very different laughs. Yes, I mine's agree. like Elmo uh, yeah. tone. Mine's like you go, ah! you go like high. That. You go high. Yeah, mine's like <laughs> like that kind of. Yours is like uh, I don't even know mine. Is. Wait, I'm trying to think of. What I don't yours think is. I laugh. <laughs> I mean, I think it was a good. <laughs> Actually, I yeah, I yeah, know. yeah. I was a go -ho -ho. Yeah. I was like choking on my laughter. It was a go -ho -ho. Well, yeah. my my super it's funny. Like, <laughs> mine's <laughs> and yeah. yours is. <laughs> yeah. Like that. Yeah, so it's totally different. Yeah. But those are like our, that's like our special move. Yeah, that's like a fatality. Yeah. But, yeah, yeah. but in terms of our normal attacks. Which, <laughs> <laughs> so I guess yeah. there's a little bit of that. Kame Field says that you guys hold hands every time you're in an important meeting, so neither of you get scared. Um, well, I did I, actually in a recent, in a recent um, meeting, I did fake propose to you. That's true. Yeah. There was that. Yeah. But we haven't held hands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's, it is funny. It reminds me that there was a time whenever I had to hold your hand in a video back in the day, I would feel weird about it. Mm -hmm. But like if we were standing in a group circle and it was like, okay, for this scene, hold the people, hold the hands of the people next to you. I'd feel yeah. weird about holding your hand, but like not the other person next to me. Mm -hmm. And I remember why. It was because we became friends in sixth grade. Yeah, and yeah. like in sixth grade, you put up this wall. You're like, um, I can't have anyone think anything weird about me if I'm like too close to my guy friends. Mm -hmm. So I like put up that wall and I think it had never disappeared. Mm -hmm. And I always just felt weird about that. Yeah, I think I think to a certain degree, I, I felt the same way. But also for me, it was just weird holding hands with anybody that was like a friend. Any friend? I don't know. It's like when do you just like hold hands with friends? Hold a friend. I, uh, yeah, yeah. So like any any like any sort of like person I was friends with, I was like, 
Like or like uh, in like a class where like everyone was like around a circle holding hands. It was like this is weird. Yeah, also, my hands would get sweaty. True, but everyone knows that holding hands is like the gateway to sex. So yeah, I, ha- no, it's like it's written like if you hold hands, you're gonna have sex. Likely, uh, or if you hold hands, it means you want to have sex. So yeah, that's true. Uh, that was what I equated it to. Um, I don't know yeah. if that's a, American culture or what. Yeah, homies don't hold hands in in the U.S. Yeah. Oh, hello, I'm Spida, says footsies under the table every business meeting. Why do people think that we're secretly f- <laughs> You're not going to like the memes. <laughs> not, not, not platonic footsies. Um... No, I mean we do we do accidentally knock shoes sometimes. Knock Big, knock boots. No, because that's inferring sex. That's different. But we do we do like you know like I feel like that always happens. Like when you get a bunch of people around a table and you just constantly kick other people's feet and you go, oh sorry. Yeah. And then both people withdraw their feet super far back, so now there's just all this open space. <laughs> you know, I I think part I'm I'm trying to like just go beyond that and try to dissect why do people think that we are. Constantly, like secretly. Well, admittedly, we have done a lot of queer baiting. We've we've leaned into Ooh. and you're gonna admit that. <laughs> yeah, we've we've definitely leaned leaned into uh, some of those things. I think it probably started because we were very close friends growing up, and we would go to everything together. It'd be like uh-huh. this friend would invite us this thing, this party here. We'd show up together. We'd always carpool. I'd pick you up, and like we would go together. We were already hanging out, mm. uh, and I think there was like a lot of jokes that people would make, like. Oh, is your special friend here? Like there was a li- there was some of that implication there, so I think we just leaned into it. This isn't an assumption. This is just something I <laughs> wanted to show both of you. Okay. Um, <laughs> so uh, I'm just I'm calling this bit a uh, queer coding smosh. Okay. Oh. Uh, basically, I've gone through and noticed that there's a lot of moments in smosh history that are quite queer coded, um, mm. oh. and I'm just gonna show them to y'all here. Okay. So this one is called Unrequited Gay Love, um, and this is from the video Paranormal Easy Bake Oven. I think I could guess which part. Yeah. <sighs> yep. Come on, baby, just just one kiss. Oh, 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 oh. Come on, Ian's mom. Oh, little oh, tongue oh, wait, 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 no, wake up, wake up! Wait. Well, it's, it's, it's it, not gay, because I was thinking it was Ian's yeah, mom. Yeah, it's true. Well, I don't know. I just think it's a common trope of like unrequited gay love of like how Anthony was like clearly trying to like make yeah. some sort of move for you. But I was trying, to, but I was trying he, to make a whoopee with Ian's mom. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. So you don't. So that was not queer. That coding. I don't. That I would say. I would say that one not. But I'm sure the next one you're about to show me very. So the next one is where y'all were way ahead of the curve on okay. this one. Mm. Okay. This one is called mm. uh, Trans Men Are Men, and <laughs> <laughs> Ian is pregnant. I'm pregnant. <laughs> Why would you ever? Oh my god! <laughs> How did that happen? I don't know. I, I think maybe Antoinette got me pregnant, <laughs> you know, before I dumped her. But she dumped you. No, she didn't. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Then what's this? So have you ever thought about how many kids we're going to have? I think I want to break up. <laughs> no! No! <laughs> so men can get pregnant, huh? I Apparently so. And, and I think it's... I, I was afraid he was gonna argue about the biology aspect of it, and he was just, he just wanted to argue about <laughs> the who broke up with who. Exactly. Yeah. And I also wanna point out that it is the representation of T for T love because yeah. he got pregnant mm-hmm. by his trans girlfriend, yep. Antoinette. Mm-hmm. I just think there's a lot of representation going on yeah. in this one. Thank you. I'm glad we could be acknowledged for that. Yeah. That's, that's- it's, yeah. it's, 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 went under, it's about time. Yeah. It's about time. It's been under the radar for, yeah. for long enough. Well, that was because of the agenda. Yeah, I was in denial going back and forth. I, it was mostly social commentary about, like, societal pressure to doubt oneself. Yeah. But I, I got there eventually. No, it felt—I I could see, like, how much you were putting in, and I could tell that yeah. it, 
It was very, like, gender. And stuff. Yeah. I remember when we were writing it, mm -hmm. we were, like, really going down the rabbit hole of, like, how can this be the best and most accurate representation? No, literally. Yeah, we consulted many experts, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. went to colleges. Yeah, we spent that one full day just visiting trans people to get their experiences and learn yeah. and understand. Yeah. No, that's pretty incredible. Okay. okay, the next one is called Asexual Men Are Valid. Okay. Seriously, nothing? What? And I got nothing. You've got it. nothing going on. And as we yeah. know, it's like asexual men just don't get that type of representation and no one really talks about how, you know, they're yeah. like supposed to be sexual, high libido and everything. Right. Mm -hmm. Shout out to the aces. The ace, yeah, no, literally. But not the ace family. Yeah, we're not yeah. shouting out them. What do they yeah. say asexuals uh, think about instead? Was it the uh, pie? Was oh, it, uh... I think, uh, well, one of the ace guys was like, he said he thought about his Legos instead. Oh, yeah. Like there was like a, com there's a common thing that ace people say. That oh, garlic you, bread. Garlic bread. Garlic bread. You know you are ace if you would rather be eating garlic bread than having sex. So. But I'm gluten free, so do you have any, the, the, I don't know, this isn't. You can't get it? You can't? Mm. No, that's interesting. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. that is interesting. If we were really ahead of the curve, we would have got like garlic bread in that thought bubble. That's You're right. true. Oh my god. Okay, so yeah. we're actually bigots. Actually, yeah. damn it. Kind of, kind of asexual. Okay. Of yeah. Not, not woke. Doing that. Not so not. Woke. We'll get them yeah. next time. Okay, let's uh, pivot. We're gonna do a little meme bit here. All right. So we've got a series of memes here. Okay. Um, Pull them up at one at a time. Rank them. Yeah. Switch off, read them out loud, okay. um, and rank them on S, A, B, C, D. So these are fan made? These are all fan made, yeah. Did you find these on the, did we you ask for submissions or you just found them? We found them. All right. All right. Breaking Bad, if it was epic. Uh, um, nice. I feel like I've actually seen this meme. Um, I would put this at D tier. Yeah, that's super D. That one's a really good one. It's, it's pretty good because it's, it's got the word epic in okay, it. Actually, it's like such a tense right. show of the time. Actually, I love that it's like cut off. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I part, actually, part of the meme okay. is the fact that it's so ironically. You know, shitty. it's it's an it's an it's it's ironic. So actually, I'm gonna put it up at A. You moved it up to A. Yeah, okay, yeah. I'm gonna go back to B because I didn't. Well, we gotta we gotta decide. All right, fine. It'll be an A. All right. Anthony, come on, change my diaper. It smells. <laughs> All right, that, one, that one's that one, I'm sorry, but that one's going S. Uh, that's S tier. That's this S -tier. is an S tier meme. This just existed on the internet. Of course, of course it did. Yeah. That's an S tier meme. It's epic meme. All right, uh, Anthony. After edging since 2017. Um, real, real. That is true. I would say. Um, well, the implications are. Uh, let's see how happy I am. I think it. the. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying. Are you it. into it? I'm enjoying it. Let me see how I would. I would say. I would say that's oh, like. A, you I would love say it. it's a B. It, I, honestly, it, it. I think it brings it to A because the, the, because Damian, Courtney, and Shane love it. This was posted on Smosh Pit. Uh, yeah, if, it, if that's where it is. Yeah. I mean, somebody, maybe somebody. <laughs> maybe I like somebody, to imagine this is official posting yeah, made I on think, our social. I think some, actually that, that makes the, that makes it even more brilliant. <laughs> We're raising it to A after realizing that one of our official channels posts. Yes. Yeah. All right. That's Ian and Anthony Peg fan fiction. There's hardcover autographed E. Anthony fan fiction in the toilet at Burger King in Fillmore, Utah. <laughs> What? What? <laughs> Fillmore, Utah. <laughs> I like wait, wait, wait. Sorry, sorry. Autographed E. Anthony fan fiction in the, in the toilet at the Burger King in Fillmore, Utah. This is so obscure. I like to imagine that there there is a hardcover somehow. I just don't know what to make of this one. Uh, this one, this one, I feel like it's a B because it's so, I mean, it's it does, it does a few things. Yeah. It confuses the out of me, yeah. which is, I think, funny when yeah. something confuses me too much. Um, but it's so hyper specific as well. Yeah, I feel like this was like, this. I feel like this is like Gen Z made this one. Oh, for sure. 
Oh, I've seen this one. Imagine you are watching YouTube videos and you hear a knock on your front door. It is Ian and Anthony from Smosh. Hey, beautiful. Anthony says, shy and nervous. Ian leans in to kiss your lips, but Anthony stops him. No, she's mine. Anthony leans in to kiss you. I've seen this one many times and it's S tier. <laughs> this is absolute S tier. It's got it's got three acts in it. It's got yeah. twists, it's got turns, it's, it's yeah. This is this is good. I'm not sure on it's S tier movie. Yeah, it's S tier because like I don't know if the original author of this meme was being sincere. It's hard or, to know, right? Or it was a meme. Like I I really I truly don't know cuz it could honestly go either way. I love it. S tier. All right. Uh we tried pegging. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it, this one, this one gets me because our expressions on our face really look like, like we just tried pegging. That face that he just tried pegging? It's this. Yeah, I can clearly imagine if we just tried pegging, that is what our facial. Yeah, you, we look happy like, you look slightly in pain. Yeah. So I think you were the catcher that, in that case. I don't know. Well, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's and I fair look to very say. satisfied. That's fair to say. I think this is S I didn't think my peg game was going to be so strong. <laughs> you know? I'm putting this at S tier because it got me. It sure, got me so good. Sure. Oh, this one's hand drawn. Uh, me telling bro how down bad this girl got me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Um, well, th all right, th there's a lot of layers. There's a lot of layers to this one because they made it. They made it out like it was a TikTok. Um, it's from an account that that's called I Heart Hot Moms. They made me look really good. Oh, like, it actually like it kind of gives me like it kind of gives me like uh, I'm kind of envious. Bro, we both um, look good here. Like though. my 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 freaking I'm freaking stacked. Dude, so am I. This is my this is gonna be my my inspo. Yeah, my fit spo. But I just love I just love the idea of like. Uh, this is just how we hang out. <laughs> and, then, and then I'm like, I'm like, how did, how did the, how did the date go? go? And you're just like, you're no, just like, I feel like you're the one telling me how your date went. You got on my lap to tell yeah, me. Yeah, you're like, you're like, hey man, how did that date go? And then I come over and like, look. <laughs> you're like, I am so down bad I'm for this girl. I'm so down bad for this girl. Oh yeah? That's what, incredible. What, what makes you so down bad for her? Why is that art so good? The art, the art is seller, um, honestly. I'm gonna have to go <laughs> check out the iHeart Hot Moms uh, TikTok account just, yeah. to, just to see a bit more. This just reaffirms that there is there is hope after after Twink death. We're back. We're, We're back, back in a We're big so way. Back. This is S tier. Okay. Uh, hashtag Anthony <laughs> with Rhett and Link kissing? <laughs> is this AI? But, I, but it's, well, they yeah. did that. Uh, oh. They've done that to us, but they also like found a Different photo of two different people. They found two emo and guys kind of look like similar us, us yeah. and they photoshopped the hair to look more like us. I don't think they photoshopped it. They just kind of looked like us, and everyone was convinced it was oh, us. Oh yeah. Um, but I, I'll put that at. I'll put that at. I mean, it's funny because it is Brett and Link. It's layered. So it's a B to me. I would say B. B. Yeah. Right. Okay. Oh, this one's real fresh. Oh, what do your followers think of you, Freaky Squirter? Let me. F I'm gonna um, eat it. <laughs> throat goat. And then nothing for that shirtless one. Amidst. I could dick you down on some low key ish. Deal. <laughs> <laughs> and backshot demon. <laughs> oh, oh, uh, wow. Oh, and this was posted by Slay, Slay World uh, Albania. This is feeling. This is feeling S tier. That's or, feeling. That's that got me good. Is it A or S? I I put it at S. S. Yeah. This is S tier. Yeah. S tier content. Okay. That got me. I'm gonna be thinking about that one for a little too long. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, S tier. S tier. <laughs> is that? Is we that don't. We don't. Say? We don't have to get into it. That's S tier. Uh. All right. Uh. Mew and Anthony isn't. I like how it's not about f anything, it's just f***ing in general. Yeah, I care about my, my boy's oh, sex sexual health. I read it wrong, it's me when E. Anthony isn't f Oh, less funny. Less funny. Less funny. Cause I just like, it, me, like when, when you just, when you just generally are not f 
I like the idea that you're just looking out for a homie. Yeah. And you're like, I, I want him to be f Well, when I sit on your lap, I'm like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Are you f***ing? You're not f***ing. Oh, you're not um, but it's it turned it into this, and I'm I'm not as into that. It's not a, yeah, so D. D. All right, last one. This is gonna be the spiciest of all memes. I know it. I don't know. We saw you. The buttons in there. I'm getting a little peek. No, flip it. Oh no. Flip it. Oh no. Flip it. Oh. Summertime in California. And California's not even spelled right. And <laughs> it's this, so crunchy. What is I that? Can't. What it says? I'm getting pretty. It's so crunchy, I can't even read it. Wait. I'm getting pretty damn hot. Pretty damn hot. Yeah, 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 I'm getting pretty damn hot. Um, and they've photoshopped our heads onto a gay <laughs> <laughs> And And they made sure to put by Sarah on there, like just in yeah. case someone was about to rip it and not give Sarah credit. That, yeah, that took some work to Photoshop, I suppose. I think the big by Sarah is what makes it for me. Yeah. Do you, wait, was this like, I, I have a feeling like this was album art for a fanfic. Oh, uh, oh, like, like the poster. This is, yeah, like this, the fanfic was called like Summertime in, in California. California. California, yeah. Yeah, yeah, the by Sarah makes it for me because mm. she's got her own branding for her name. Yeah. Like she she was like, this is gonna be my logo. Yeah. Uh, I, it's, I'm I've seen that. it before though. You've seen this before? No, but I've seen our faces photoshopped on Gabe before. Yeah. And it's like it's been done so often. It's so. Uh, I'd say it's a C, but it, it, it would have been an F if it didn't have by Sarah on there. Uh, and California yeah. being spelled wrong really gets me too. California does get me there to, to a C. Yeah. All right. It is. We've looked into it and it is fanfic on yeah. It is fanfic? Yes. It, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is yeah. it called Summertime in California? <laughs> California. California. Yeah. Wow. Do you want to read like the last sentence? So we, so we see how it ends? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can we see how this story ends? Okay. Wait, wait. Can we read the first sentence and the last sentence? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> we don't need to read the whole thing. Okay, yeah. I'm guessing it starts with, it was summertime. All right, the first sentence is summertime in California. Looks like it's gonna be another hot day. All right, Ian, would you like to take the, would you like to read this last? Oh, well, actually I'll say, I'll read the line before. Anthony smiled, kinda, just to see if, if what they write for us is true. If it's not, I won't bother you again about this, but can maybe have one kiss? <laughs> I love how bad this English is. <laughs> I don't see why not. If it helps clear your mind, and God knows we are drunk enough to do it. Hell, come here, Anthony. <laughs> this is so spelled so wrong. <laughs> Ian said in a slightly slurred voice. Wow. Come here, Anthony. Come here. Uh, shout out, shout out Sarah. Sarah. Trademark by Sarah. Copyrighted by Sarah. Written by <laughs> Sarah. All right. All right, y'all. Let's, um... Damn, that got spicy and heavy. That was fun. Um, okay, let's get a little bit more serious. I want to pivot a little that bit. That wasn't serious. More. Go from that, that was. I mean, that's pretty serious. That was serious. That yeah. fan fiction was very was serious. Yeah, serious. Super mega Gatorade uh, says that Anthony looks like he regrets a lot of childhood decisions, but chooses to relive them because his tattoos absorb the trauma and give him power. That sounds like the plot for a really good fan fiction. Uh, wait, what? <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Regret a lot of childhood decisions. No. Because, like, also as a child, you're not making decisions. Also, you can learn from the past, <laughs> and you can grow from the past. You can look at that and say, I'm glad I'm not that way, or that I, or I'm yeah. glad that it did happen so that I could be the way I am now. But I continue to, to, what is it? I, but I continue to. You re relive them. Relive them. Oh, like, in my head. I guess I relived. Childhood stuff to try to learn from it in a therapy sense. So, okay. And then the tattoos absorb them. That's a really, that's a funky one. That but, is. Yeah. Uh, but I will say the tattoos help remind me of decisions that I make that I want to continue living by forever. So I guess there's that sense. I guess. <laughs> I don't even know how to answer that. Yeah, that's no. that's an obscure one. That's a tough one to yeah. answer. Yeah. Okay. Uh, was that written by Sarah? That was. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. I wish. Blinky Blinky says, 
I don't know why, but you guys give me the vibe that one of you says growing old is mandatory and the other says growing up is optional. I mean, right you know, now I look like the the growing up is mandatory guy. Right I'm now. definitely the... This is my first time trying uh, button up under sweater and Anthony also showed up with button up under sweater. But I look like the guy that won't give up being young. Exactly, right. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, but I will say for sure, I was like, I remember when we when we got back together and started writing scripts and sketches and stuff, I remember there was a moment where you're like, should I play that character? I feel like I'm too old to play that character now. I was like, no, we got to fully commit. Like, mm. we were too old to play these characters when we were playing these characters before. <laughs> sure. We should just fully commit to, yeah, yeah, to yeah. like, to just messing around and being childish again. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, and I really do believe that aging is a mindset. I yeah. think people's well, minds start we, solidifying and yeah, because we both use blood boys. Yeah, it's a mindset when you have infinite access to blood boys. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. we we will live forever because yeah. of our blood boys. Mm -hmm. So the tip is get in while you're young, make enough money, get blood boys, stay young, live forever. C is me says that your on camera and off camera interactions are slowly becoming similar as you grow more comfortable with each other and reestablish your bond as best mates. I'd say that's closer. I would say off camera though. <sighs> off camera, we we just talk in a little bit more of like a <laughs> yeah I mean, casual not, tone. Yeah. It's like understated. Yeah, but I feel like on yeah. camera, I feel the need to amp it up a little bit more. Sure, as I think is natural whenever you're on camera and you're like, time to be entertaining. People are watching this. They're going to click away at any moment. I think that I. Yeah, I mean, on camera, you're always going to be a little bit more animated. And you're trying to be more because, succinct. and Yeah, because if, if, if you know, I behaved how I did in, in real life, you know. It, yeah. You know, just, yeah, you know. I don't know. I mean, I'd, honestly. I'd just, like, I'd just be like this. Yeah. And I, I would, and I would just be like this. I feel like yeah. it's getting a little bit, it is getting a little bit closer. And it's just like, that's, yeah. Yeah, but I, but I, I do agree. I do agree with that, though, because it's, Yeah. I feel like we're we're able to be more of ourselves. Yeah, I feel like right when we started making videos together um, in this new era of Smosh, there was a little bit of me like pushing, okay, we're supposed to be friends. I, I know we're friends, but like I want to bring it. I want to show it. Mm -hmm. Now I don't feel like we have to. It just happens more naturally. Someone assumes that uh, you'll need to have very clear boundaries about your private lives now. I mean, I think I, we we talk about we talk about our boundaries when it comes to like the boundaries that we set privately and and like publicly, like in terms of like the things that we share in our in our private life. Because you and I have both experienced like the wide ranges of like how much we share with people online and how much we you know may benefit or. Uh, suffer from from those things. It's kind of like always an evolving process of like, how much do you let people in on on you know your life and and who you are beyond like the character that you're portraying online. Mm -hmm. um, but in but terms like, of with like each other, each other, it, like, it feels like I don't know. I, I, mean, feel I tell like, you, I tell you, like pretty much. Whatever. Like we talk about yeah, everything. Yeah, we talk about whatever. We talk yeah. about everything. Yeah. It's not like, oh, don't talk about that, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. It feels like everything's on the table. Yeah. Cause like fortunately for now, we don't have we don't have a podcast where we're just like sitting and talking. Because right. I think I think if we were in that situation, like it would be like, because I know I know other people that are like this, they start to talk about something, they're like, wait, 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 save that for the podcast. Oh. You know, like where everything has to be like content. Yeah, used for content. That's just weird to me. I, I don't. I don't think I could really get down with that with someone that I'm really close friends with. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like that. That's where like the content is intruding on, you know, your private life. Danny says that even if you you've said you think everything needed to happen exactly as it did, you still regret wasting so much time distanced from each other. No, it needed it literally needed to be that way. I mean, we were both so busy 
and we needed to grow in so many ways. I don't know. Like, I don't really care. I mean, do I kind of wish I could have seen you in your blonde Ian era or your bowl cut Ian era? Like, legit bowl cut Ian era? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. But other than that, no. I, I, I don't feel like we, we missed anything. No, you and, know, and the things that that we missed, we could talk about. Yeah. Like, it's not like, it's not like, oh, man, I can't do that with Anthony because I'm not 32 anymore. That's interesting. Like I could see, I could see where that question is, or I could see where that assumption is coming from. But yeah, but I don't really feel that way. No. I, I, I feel like, I feel like we spent that time apart. We both grew. If we tried to reconvene any time between there, might not have been the same. Yep. And uh, although I would say it's worked out, I would say we would have had some good pandemic times together, just getting really disgusting, playing video games. For like forty hours straight or something. Yeah, I guess. I guess. Yeah, we could have played some video games. That would have been nice. Yeah, would yeah. be nice to play some video games. Yeah, played some Fifty Cent, the Fifty Cent game. Yeah, that would have been good. Yeah. Now we're too busy working. Speedbird says that Anthony is the guy that goes missing all the time, and Ian is the guy running the ship at Smosh. Well, I will say that you know your your time is is fragmented a little bit just by the nature of this channel. Yeah. Because you spend more time, I mean, you spend time on this channel, whereas I don't. <laughs> yeah. Um, so you get to put all your, 100% of your energy into Yeah, toward, I could put my whole he cocks this he into, into. And you don't, you don't hold back. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, my, my time is a little bit more fragmented. Uh, but at the same time, I feel like you and I both know like where, where we can each pull up or like, show up more to to kind of balance it out. Yeah, and also like I'm not I'm not like running the ship. Like there's there's a very capable group of us that are that are running things. Yeah, so we both put a lot of energy in working with a lot of amazing people to make sure that the right yeah. people are in the right spots to help us get things done. Yeah. And our schedules are very precise and where we each need to be at what time in order to make the things happen. Yeah. <laughs> and we show up when we're needed. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't think people understand like how most of our days during the week are scheduled out to make sure that we get the stuff done. Anthony's scared that his new workers uh, slash employees at Smosh won't like him. Man, these assumptions could really f somebody up. It's a good thing that it's not gonna f me up, but, but for real, I, I was scared for a while. I was definitely, I definitely felt like I had to, like I said, I felt like I had to prove myself. Uh, even though I knew that people would ultimately accept me, there was a part of me that was afraid of not knowing if people really did because of the position that I'm in. I'm like, sure. Would I really know though if they didn't like me or accept me? Yeah. But with enough time here, you know, and working with, like even like doing after work outings and just getting to know so many people, I can I can I can tell that they genuinely. I mean, I'm not trying to like be the most lovable, likable person to everyone, but I could tell that everyone uh, seems to enjoy my presence enough. Um, <laughs> enough. I I don't know. I'm not really like I'm not so caught up in it that it's like does this person like me? Does this person? Because if right. I was, then I would be like frantic yeah. and super neurotic all the time. So yeah, I try to just. Um, I'm I'm comfortable with mm -hmm. where I'm at, and I think people I like think me. I think you're good. I think people like I think me. you're good. I've mentioned it to you before, and you've said the exact same thing. I think you're good. I, I think you're like, good. I was like, all right, that's all I need to hear, really. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Really, I feel like you probably would have a better read. I think you're good. Okay. Anthony and Ian are soul tired. Soul tired? Soul tired. Is that like our souls are just drained? Uh, I mean, uh, I, was, I was soul tired. Uh, in in some of the years in Anthony's absence, I was definitely soul tired. It was the uh, Defy um, shutdown era or what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, after like the shutdown and just like trying to take things, you know, trying to keep the, the ship going. And, mm -hmm. and it was just like, you know, doing things that like I didn't think were my strengths. Mm. Oh, it actually said soul tied. Not <laughs> completely oh. different. Okay. Assumption. Well, uh, I guess 
must be just made up something. <laughs> soul tired. That's soul a tired. thing. Yeah. I was uh, like, that's okay. a Jan Alpha thing for right. sure. We are soul tied. Soul tied. Uh, no, I, I think we just, I think we just like really get along and we vibe and uh, we both appreciate our senses of humor. Um, we're both extremely good looking. Um, and um, yeah, it's just like, we're, we're a great, we're a great pair for what we do. Ian would be the type of guy to start floating when he smells a good pie, but right as he starts levitating towards it, Anthony drops a cartoon-sized anvil on his head. What the f***? You don't get that? No. It's classic cartoon. Oh, the Yeah, I smell it, I start floating, and then you drop an anvil on my head. I guess in this scenario, I am the Tom, and you are the oh, Jerry. Oh, this is the Tom and Jerry dynamic. Are you, are you Jerry-coded, or are you Tom-coded? Uh, I think I'm more Jerry-coded. You think so? Yeah. Really? I'm more Jerry. Leave a comment down below. Who who's who is is Anthony Jerry coded? Your strength would be mm. you smelling the thing and going toward it in an entertaining way. That's I feel like that's you coming up with a bunch of really fun ideas for a script. Okay. And then me, no, that kind of implies that I shut your ideas down or something. Yeah. Boom. But, but you do. No. <laughs> I'm gonna get you mentioned that in a video at one point that I shut down your ideas and I still don't get that. You shut down my ideas sometimes too. Of course. Yeah. Because my ideas are better. <laughs>